In today's presentation, we're learning how to remove the background from pictures in PowerPoint using the built-in feature in PowerPoint itself. It will help you make your slides a lot nicer and make some elements pop out just that little bit extra. And we're starting from a blank slide. First thing you want to do is we go to the Insert tab and click on Icons. If you're working on a Windows, that will be Insert Stock Footage. On the right, we have this tab opening up with images and let's type in Travel to find some pictures. Ideally, we want something with a four and a background, so let's take this one, insert it to the slide, and fill it to full screen. This designer tab is actually quite nice. If you want that, you can go to the home and then toggle on or off the designer tab. So here you have the designer function, toggle it on, it will give you some alternatives. So it's easy to fill it to full screen. Now, if you want the person on the picture entirely, you can right click crop and adjust the crop mark so that the person fits the screen entirely. Next, we want to select the image, go to picture format and remove background. And this will make an automatic selection where everything in purple will be removed and everything in the full color will remain. We can adjust the selection by clicking on mark areas to keep and then drawing over everything that you want to keep in the picture. You can do this in one movement or you can do it in multiple takes. So we're going to refine the edges just a little bit and in a few clicks, you will have the final result. Sometimes it does select an extra area. If you want to get rid of that, you just go to the red one, mark areas to remove, and then draw over the area that has been added. Same thing at the bottom, and that is complete. Now we have the selection that we want, and we click on keep changes. And this has removed the background entirely from that picture in quite a good way. Now let's add some formatting to the slide. Right click crop, and I'm going to adjust the crop marks so that it's just outside of the person. This makes it a lot easier to drag around and to select elements on the background. Let's go to shapes and draw a rectangle just about halfway in the screen. Remove the outline, right click, format shape, fill, and let's give this a gradient fill. Let's see which ones of the standard ones we want to use. I think this light blue fill will work quite nice, but let's take two stops where we have one darker tint and let's make it linear like this right click send to back and then we have some area on the right to work with here we're going to add some text let's type in some dummy text lorem ipsum the text we're going to change to avenir next and let's make it a few ticks larger make it bold and then let's add some dummy text below so add a text box and add some text in there if you want more text you can add a few more paragraphs that is all possible let's center it nicely in the middle same with the title, maybe just a bit smaller, 50. And we can also give this text option a gradient fill. There we go. Let's see if we can put this in all caps. And this gives you quite a nice professional slide to work with, with the picture overlapping the elements on the slide, giving more of a dynamic layered look and feel to the presentation.